Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forzathon guide which is called Setting the Pace. Now this wants you to own and drive the 2018 Jaguar I-Pace to complete all of the challenges with. So without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car we will be using for this week's Forzathon event. Now this is a 2018 Jaguar I-Pace, it will set you back 80,000, 87,000 credits from the auto show or you can actually win it in this week's Eliminator Challenge in the festival playlist or of course purchase it from the auction house. I have created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon and the share code is there on your screen now, hopefully this should help you out with some of the challenges. Now the first challenge wants you to earn 5 speed skills in Guanajuato in your I-Pace. Now this is easier said than done because it's quite an underwhelming car but we'll, anyway we'll get stuck into it. So obviously you have to go over to Guanajuato to complete it which is as you can see uh, just above the stadium here. This is also where you're going to have to do this week's photo challenge as well. Now there isn't too many perfectly nice and straight roads but one of the better ones that I found was here at the top that you can see the actual car on and that my arrow is going down now you'll effectively have to do a run per speed skill so you won't really be able to get much more than a speed skill on any of the roads in Guanajuato now a normal speed skill kicks off at just over 130 mile an hour and as you can see here I'm basically doing a run each way and getting a speed skill each run so you'll have to effectively do five runs in order to complete this challenge it is fairly easy but it's just a bit annoying like I said this car is a bit underwhelming and this is it fully tuned unfortunately um, it will hit 204 mile an hour eventually now the next challenge here just wants you to win a road race which again is nice and easy and of course as you know I have one created for you over at the Arch of Muley circuit. Now the race I have is called Forzathon Easy and the share code is 1103168048. The good thing about this is it's just one lap which doesn't take that long and there is of course no AI driver tiles so you're going to win every single time but you've only got to do it once which is a good thing. Now this car will probably do a full lap in just over a minute so it's not terribly slow but it's just not great. <laughs> now the final challenge here wants you to earn 100,000 skill score. First of all, what I'd recommend doing is going over to the Skill Mastery tab and buying out a couple of these perks. Now, a couple of them will give you extra score for record skills and sideswipe. One of them extends the skill chain time and the Second Life perk in the bottom right is always a good one to have in case you smash into something. Now, to do this challenge, as I normally do for ones like this, I headed over to the main drag strip at the main Horizon Festival outpost. And in order to complete this challenge, you don't actually have to get it in one go. You could do it over the course of a few days if you want. Although sometimes the Forzathon challenges don't fully track uh, scores and you'll end up having to restart, which is a bit annoying. Or you can do it over the course of a couple of races, whatever you want. If you want to complete it in one go, you'll need to get 20,000 skill points multiplied by 5 or 25,000 multiplied by 4 or somewhere in between. Although it is always good if you can try and get a skill song going as well because that will save you a bit of time. But the good thing about this area you can just drive around smash into stuff get various different wreckage skills jump skills you probably can get some speed skills um, but either way it's actually a really quick um, challenge to do I think it took me about a minute uh, but I just sped it up a bit to obviously save a bit of time and cut to the point um, anyway though hopefully this guide did help you out like I said this jag is a bit underwhelming to be honest um, but either way it's still a very easy and doable Forzathon um, if you are struggling with anything of course so do let me know down below in the comments I'm more than happy to help you guys out and if this video did help you out I'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and if you're new to the channel subscribing massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks I want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care